kids. How are you? Grandma Patty Ann here. Listen, I've got a sweet story to tell you today, but it's about a granny who sleeps on a very cozy bed and this granny snores. And I'm hoping that you're going to help me snore throughout the book. But there's not just a granny. There's also a child who comes and lays on top of the granny while she's sleeping. And then a dog comes on top and then a cat and so on. Well, I'm showing you these because at the end, I'm going to give your parents a link, your mom and your dad, so that they can download these images for free and print them and then cut them out either with scissors or a cutting machine. And I'll have the link for them at the end. But let's get started with the book. Oh, but before, hey, Levi, hey, Layla, and Kyle, and Ava, and Carter, and Connor, and Shante, and Keisha. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. All right, let's get started with this book. I think you're really going to like it. The Napping House by Audrey Wood and Dawn Wood. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed, in the napping house where everyone is sleeping. Let's look to see who we see. I see the granny and the dog and a cat and a child and a mouse. Pretty many things are sleeping. Let's continue and see what happens. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny. Help me snore. <laughs> on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Hmm. I don't think everyone is sleeping right now. Look, the child is awake. The child isn't sleeping. I wonder what he's going to do. Let's see. And on that granny, look, there's a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Oh, oh, do you see somebody or something waking up? Look carefully. Yes, look at the dog. He's waking up. Let's see what's going to happen. And on that child, there's a dog, a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, <sighs> on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. Uh-oh. Do you see somebody waking up? Look carefully. That's right. Look at the cat. Oh. All right. And on that dog, there's a cat, a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, <sighs> on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Is everybody sleeping? Do you see somebody or something awake? I see something with my little, I spy with my little eye, a little mouse who is awake. Let's see what he's going to do. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse. On the snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, <sighs> on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Now, there is one more thing that's awake and it's very, very, very hard to see. Look over here. There's something right here that's awake. Let's see what happens next. And on that mouse, there's a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea? On a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, 
<laughs> on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. A wakeful flea, here's the flea, who bites the mouse, who scares the cat, who claws the dog, who thumps the child, who bumps the granny, who breaks the bed in the napping house where no one now is sleeping. Look at them all out here in the yard. I can't see everything. I see granny and the dog and the child and the cat. Maybe that's the mouse, but I'm not sure where the flea is. But that's the end of the story. Thanks so much for joining me. Me, Remember now, I'm going to show your parents a link so that they can get these. Whoops, don't make Granny upside down. So that they can cut these out for you after they print them. And you can tell them the story. Look at here's the Granny when she's sleeping. And this is the Granny after she got bumped or thumped. So there's differences. Look, here's the dog who's sleeping. And here's the dog after he gets awakened and all of the animals are here and the people. So I hope you have fun playing with these things too, if you're able to print them and cut them out, but whatever, enjoy the story with me. I'm glad you came. See you again next time. Bye.